Hello and welcome. Today we'll be discussing commas in addresses. I can use commas correctly when writing an address. Turn and talk. Think about a time when you sent or received something in the mail. Share about that time with your neighbor. A birthday present, a holiday card, a thank you note, mail from school. Prior knowledge. Paula received a letter of her own. Does everything look correct in the addresses? You may have said that the addresses need commas. Commas are needed between the city and the state when writing addresses on an envelope. Here's where we put the commas, separating the city from the state. It goes behind the city. The city is Atlanta, the state is Georgia. Format of an address. The line one is the person's full name Line two is your street address, and line three is the city, state, and zip code. Here's an example. Adam Laundry, 6720 Ocean View Drive, Los Angeles, comma, California, and this is the zip code, 90066. Now try writing your own address correctly on a piece of paper. Have your neighbor check it when you're done. I'll give you a few moments to do that. Commas in addresses. It is important to write an address correctly to make sure your mail and packages go to the right place. If you are trying to get to a certain location, writing the addresses correctly will help you arrive easily. On a postcard, the address is written on the lines on the right side. The message is written on the left. Have you ever received or sent a postcard? So this is where you will write your message on the left and this is where you will write your address on the right. Walk to the right side of the room if the address is correct. Walk to the left side of the room if the address is incorrect. Here's your first one. Walk to the right side now if it is correct. Walk to the left side of the room if it's incorrect. That's the first one. This is the second one. And here is the third one. You may see the addresses can be written all on one line. In these cases, there is a comma after every part of the address. This includes unit or apartment number. So look at this one. Daniel Smith lives at 7451 Travis Street, apartment 2A, Chardon, Ohio, 44024. Don't forget that there is not a comma between the state and the zip code. This is a common mistake that even a lot of adults make. If the sentence continues on after the address, you must add a comma after the last item of the address. So here we have it here. Drag and drop the red commas into the correct place. Here's the first one, Michelle Fox. And here's the address for that one. So we can drag a comma and we can put it here for this one. Drag a comma and put it here for this one. 
and drag a comma here and put it for this one. You may have noticed that the states are written in postal abbreviations. This leaves more room for the zip code. So this one is a good example of that abbreviation. Instead of them writing out Tennessee, they did the abbreviations TN, Utah, okay? Drag and drop the red commas into the correct place. I'm gonna go ahead and give you some moments of time to correct these by yourself. Read the passage, the answer the questions using the pencil tool in the space below. How would you write Juliet's address? We can read over here, Juliet Parker went to Seattle to visit her aunt. She wanted to write a postcard to her friend, Gilly Ford. Gilly and Juliet were roommates at 123 Cherry Lane. Gilly has always wanted to go to Seattle, but had never gotten the chance. She had not left San Francisco, California, 94110 in a long time. So how would you write Julia's address? This is how we would write it. How would you write Gilly's address? This is how we would write it. Okay. True or false, a comma belongs between the house number and the street in an address. You said false, you are correct. True or false, a comma belongs between the city and the state in an address. You said true, you are correct. True or false, when writing an address on one line, there are no commas. If you said false, you are correct. True or false, you do not put a comma between the state and the zip code. If you said true, you are correct. Which is correct, A or B? If you said A, you are correct. Which one of these is correct? If you said A, you are correct. Which one, which one of these are correct? If you said B, you are correct. How many commas are needed in this address? If you said four, you are correct. How many commas are needed in this address? If you said three, you are correct. How many commas are needed in this address? You said one, you are correct. What did you learn? I can use commas correctly when writing an address. Where is the comma located in an address? How do I write an address all on one line? And why is this important? Write a letter to a classmate, friend, or a family member. Then take an envelope and address it correctly. Don't forget to write a return address and the recipient's address on the envelope. I'll go ahead and give you an example um, so that that way you can go ahead and write one of your own. And when you're finished, we'll go ahead and share it with a partner. Okay.